Hey everybody, Matt from The Rational Rant. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about the election and why we don't live in a democracy. We live in a representative republic. And why we are seeing two very disliked candidates and even the third parties kind of be a little off base. I mean, really, Bernie was the only person who I thought had any substantive policy positions and actually pushed for an agenda that would help America. And not that Jill Stein wouldn't do that in certain contexts, and not that Hillary wouldn't in very certain contexts, but those are few and far in between. And obviously since Bernie isn't the Democratic nominee, that really puts this whole election in a very, very strange place. So the reason I say that is because it really demonstrates how popular opinion doesn't necessarily mean that certain people are going to get into office. If we function like a pure democracy does, people's votes would translate to who gets elected and you know what policies get passed in our governmental system. But because we live in a representative democracy, we have things like the Electoral College. We also have a system where we obviously put our votes and our votes elect representatives who represent us in Washington. But the flaw with that is sometimes we can't control who gets elected. We are given a ballot that we vote on and the ballot has candidates, usually Republican and Democrat, and you just choose between who's on the ballot. But the people who really resonate with what the American people want policy-wise rarely ever get elected. I mean, we have very few people like Grayson Allen out of Florida and uh, obviously Elizabeth Warren, Bernie Sanders, you know, people in government like that. But once again, they're few and far in between, and we do not see those kind of people in those positions that we need them to be, like president. So what I'm trying to say is that don't get it mixed and think that we live in a democracy. We live in a representative republic, and unfortunately, once again, in my opinion, I don't think that's the best governmental system. I don't think it's the most fair. I mean, you look at the polls that certain institutions have done on the American public, and everyone thinks that the government is corrupt. I mean, most people do. And just the popular opinion with our current government and how it's run is not very high. But really, I just wanted to point that out. Make sure that when someone says, oh, the U.S. is a democracy, we, we aren't. I mean, we're a representative republic. And whether you agree with that or not, that's a whole different point. But know what system we live in.